Good morning. It's 10 41 a.m. It's May 25th, 2024. Um, I did want to say, um, America is seen as dark as day today in the hit in the whole history of the uh, since 17 since our signing of independence in 1776. It has been the darkest days of America. And I don't want no one to panic, but we're we're we in the midst of a war. Um we um, we are prepared for war and our branches of military are prepared for war. Um the, 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 I never seen something like this ever it, growing up. Trust me, it's really, really bad. And I know Tony and Brian were crazy, but they will not for this. So these people have been preparing for this without any 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 relation to them whatsoever. Um Okay, um, I have a, a lot of things to go over today. Not, I'm, I'm, we're not happy today. Yesterday, um, I, I, I seen, um, that, um, the Marines will, um, um, arrive, the one for active members and members, um, next to me sitting down, um, told them thank you for their service. And before, I always say thank you for service. And they say thank you for my service. And Evelyn, you know what that means, Julie Garland. And it's, it's ridiculous that you're not even in the street when you know. You know what's going on right now. You know what position I'm holding in the United States of America right now. And you're very, this German thing, and then Miss B yesterday, Nikki came, um, to, uh, and to JFK, I had to make a fool yesterday, cause she's hiding in exile now. Because her son came here, and she knows he's part of the royal, on the um, British family too. And it is very disrespectful, that little ugly bitch hiding $211 million from her children. And you don't do that to Nikki. But trust me, I'll I have you exterminated as well, and I'll be moved and be homeless. And I'll have all your money as we chase bank under Nikki's name now. And I'm really sorry. And then I, I, I had very important fake deaths in yesterday and everything I, I, on the phone because I helped. These were very private people, and including Brenda, um, Brenda Casecar and Mariah Carey, and the same residents in Jackson, New Jersey. And the, you, and the kid, Daniel, her son is going to, um, 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 Diana's brother is going to UCLA and they, they were supposed to be here yesterday and you messed up, messed up, messed up big time. You're a hater. I don't know what these German, and you were born in Belfast, Germany. And Mr. B, I know he was born in Canada, but he's born in North America, but he still has been American. You don't tell them a lot of things that you have to tell them. You look crazy, bitch. Your voice knows who. You know, I had that mentally retarded one about Frankenstein showing me everything. And you know, Nikki came with the name Andrew Eden. Um, anyway, from the friend from Nikki and Circus, who made every, every the kids found out yesterday. Anyway, we, we have backup, anyway. We were very scared here. Um, first, I want to talk about Julie Garland, my mom, Judith E. Feliciano, is the new Anne Frank. Um, Sudan, Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq, Guyana, Nigeria, Ethiopia, or after the richest woman in the world, which is her. They know who it is. This has nothing to do with Tony and Brian. They, this started in Nigeria on September 5, 1987, with a visit of some, uh, a Caucasian man, a hater, which, well, you will pay the price today, mister. Uh, the per person is in Haiti today. The one he talked to, Diana, D-H-A-R-N-A, Elka, E-L-K-A. On July 8th, 1959, is his date of birth. He found out that she was rich in Nigeria by Eric Martin. Date of birth, July 8, 1941. President, straight, never married. Um, he was a new, he worked for news media broadcasting for CBS, um, for 47 years. He lives on 194 West 21st Street, apartment 2B, Citibank account, which is closed right now, but checking account of two, and I'm going to tell you why your bank account is closed, of $2,771.32.32 and a savings of $1.2 million. And Warren Buster, the owner of John Hancock, will close your bank account for $171.2 million because the abuse was never going to stop when we didn't close this. He's the new Chelsea queen. He's paying all the security guard companies, which I closed their account from his personal account. He thinks he's the new Curtis Silver, the evil Curtis Silver, with his pain, the angels of death. All right, so um, I'm closing some accounts today from the Fifth Avenue security guards. Um, the, um, este el estilo tirado. Este es fancy, el tirado más, el tirado de los tirados, el fancy pan, el Elan 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 López Rivera, con los pehuelitos, chato, bien y con marica. He has a chase checking account, which will be close today. His date of birth is July 1st, 1961, of $731.32 and a savings of $2,712.11. Una estira era más, un, 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 un,
security. David Rodriguez Cruz is named August 7, 1960, the date of birth. Es un piano de Sebastián. Sí. Evelyn le encanta el hombre piano. Chacho, ella le canta un piano. En portugués es yo no. En castellano es poco. En español es poquín. And in English, it's a piece of shit. Piano means a piece of shit. Un piano. A Evelyn le encanta un hombre piano. De San Sebastián. He has a J.P. Morgan Chase of a checking account of seven thousand one hundred twenty-five dollars and thirty-two cents, which will be closed right now. In la cara plata, chancleta, de the Fifth Avenue of uh, the security guards, and over there in the in, uh, in meat packing, this is Diego Lopez Rivera, August seventh, nineteen sixty-two. Um, un un chorito de sal sal salatiam. If you have a Chase bank account with two hundred twenty-one dollars and thirteen cents, it will be closed on right now today. Oh, one more thing. The, the worker that works at Prince Street that banned me and calls cops on me, and I didn't even alter Landon, L-A-N-N-O-N. Um, his date of birth is July 1st, 1977. He's born in Manchester, England. He's a flat book. He's straight. He looks like an English muffin that will never turn into an English Benedict. Um, last time I spoke to him, um, to, to his, he, last time he spoke to his progenitors was on September 7th, 2017. He's the only child they don't know he's in the U.S. He's been in New York City since December 6th, 2022. The only job he had was Apple. He hates royalty. I own two units in Prince Street. Um, there is only 27 only, or there's only 27 residential units brought in Prince Street. I own two of them. I never did anything wrong. Our organization owns three businesses on Prince Street, 24 businesses in Soho. We own 77.9% of Soho, four restaurants in Soho I own. It's hard to get rid of the English muffins when they mold these. City Bank account, checking $728.17 and the same to $117.14. We'll be closed down. You think we're rich in the future? He's one of those guppy ones who wants to be the star of the show and the lead of the pack. I've been, I've been watching you way before you did that. And he gathers a group and stands in the middle of the circle. And then he's one of those. He only speaks, he's, he only, he, he's the only one that wants to speak. Trust me, he doesn't look like, he, he doesn't look the part that he plays. Um, English muffins are very clever. So fuck with me. I run shit here. Um, he changes schedule. Those, those English men, English muffins change schedule on me on everything. They think they're untouchable. His parents live two blocks west of City Hall in Manchester. His IQ is of 1.2. He has no high school. His mother is Diana Dila, 7-1-1951. And his dad is Eric Landon, Landon, 8 with two ends, 8-1-1954. He's retired. Uh, his dad is a retired from the Manchester Metro Police. Um, he has a Lloyd Bank account with a checking account of $7,128.13 and $27.1 million in savings. And I'm continuing. And I'm going to ask Governor Katie Hogan today for a very big sign of executive order and, and, and letting ICE into the city of New York to pick up all these Africans. 